to a new video. <laughs> we are cozy home today. Um, it is cold outside and I'm so happy that I have some woolly things and <laughs> some snuggly companions to keep me warm <laughs> during this cold wave or just this time of the year. <laughs> A lot has happened since my last recording. Quite a bit of knitting, but also a lot of house things. Um, the studio is 90% done, I would say. Um, so I started tackling other parts of the house. Um, the entrance slash laundry room needed much love. Um, so we spent a lot of time, about three weeks, doing plastering on the wall, um, which was very satisfying. And then the fun, the fun part started for me at least, which was putting everything together, um, installing the wooden shelves, um, putting all the baskets together, and assembling the um, kind of thrifted um, pieces that I had found. I also painted the front door because we have P we have a PVC door, um, which was is not in a great state. So I gave it um, a fresh coat of paint, and that was also a very very satisfying task. I also started doing some gardening in pots, some pots that I have um, thrifted. Um, we drilled some holes in the bottom and then I started doing lasagna bulbing inside of the pots. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to have a few crocuses and bluebells and some tulips popping in the spring and in the, in the winter actually as well. Um, yeah, we shall see. I'm assuming that today's video is about 30 minutes long. Um, there's some footage of me working around the house as usual and obviously quite a bit of knitting. Um, I worked on quite a few personal projects this month because the house is cold and I was in need of some woolly socks. Um, I made a new tulip jumper for Iris, which I've made every year since she was born. So I'm probably gonna cast on another one during the holidays because they're just so adorable. Um, especially when layered over um, a long dress or a high-waisted anything. She has daggeries and um, some high-waisted pants <laughs> and she's just so darling. So I made quite a few things for everyone and um, obviously I worked on quite a few pieces um, for my work, so design designing and you're gonna have a few glimpses of that throughout the video. So yeah, make yourself cozy, grab um, a nice beverage and enjoy. You are crazy. You are crazy.
Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this month's video. Over the past couple of years, I've been using Skillshare and it's been a great resource and companion during the many hours that I spend working on the sample. If you know me, I simply cannot do one thing at a time only. I need both my hands and my brain to be stimulated at once. So Skillshare has been a wonderful learning outlet for this time spent with my needles. Skillshare is an online learning community where thousands of creative folks share some of their knowledge and skills on all sorts of topics. Pottery, creative writing, embroidery, photography, you name it. One of the classes that I'm looking forward to taking next year, especially once our race beds will be ready, is Plant Magic 2, Foraging for Natural Fabric Dyes with Ami Plant. I've done quite a bit of natural dyeing with wool in the past, but I've never tackled garments, so I'm really looking forward to using the plants that I grow and forage to transfer the magical colors to pieces that I will wear for years to come. Check out the link in my description. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I am wearing the jumper that um, probably kept me the warmest for the past the past couple of weeks. Um, today it's minus one, so it's quite cold, and our house is quite old and not doesn't have the best insulation. So there's always like a cold wind blowing somewhere, and it's just so nice to have something really warm and yet airy and light um, and chunky oversized to wear and to keep me warm. Um, I am the kind of person that doesn't like wearing coats at all. Um, I just feel restricted and just, I don't know, just not comfortable in coats. Um, this also has to do with the fact that I'm always overheating or yeah, there's a, there's a moment in the day when, I, when I'm too hot and if I'm too hot then I start sweating and if I'm sweating then I sweat more because I'm aware that I'm sweating. <laughs> it's a vicious cir circle and I feel like if I'm in a coat and I can't move and I need to set myself free right away, um, I get anxiety and it's just even worse. So. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been layering, layering, and layering, and layering um, layers and layers of wool. So I always have like a thermal um, wool, um, wool and silk top as like base layer, and then I always have some sort of sweater, and obviously I have some woolly socks. And whenever I go out, I'm just wearing my woolly something. My blanket here, 
This is a woven blanket that I purchased in Latvia and a hat. I have my fingerless mitts that are over there on the desk and I'm just really cozy like that. Um, this is super warm on top of, you know, an already warm sweater and yeah, I, I just really, really love that. So I'm this crazy mom in the morning that drops her kid off at school and has all of these layers of wool around her, but at least I'm cozy and um, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm wearing today is a jumper that I have finished in March, actually. I finished it a while ago and obviously I wasn't about to release it in the middle of summer, so I waited for the coldest season to hit to release it. So that's the Gentle Lopi tunic. Um, it is long, obviously. It reaches the middle of my thigh and on the back it's longer, so it's almost down to um, the back of my knees and it is quite oversized, as you can see, especially the sleeves that have a very generous construction just to, you know, breathe a little bit but still be cozy. Um, and the cuff are way more fitted to add a little bit of definition to what is essentially a potato bag type of jumper. Um, and the neck is quite high and fitted as well um, to add a bit of contrast to that kind of bulkier silhouette, if you will. The raglan increases are done using eyelets and at the end of the jumper you can, you don't have to, but you can add um, those little braid, braided details um, that I think are just so special. They just add like a nice little touch to a very basic type of sweater. So there's six braids for each raglan increase, one for the neckline, two for the cuff, and there's some at the bottom of the sweater as well, next to, just before the, the hemline. It's knit with two strands of flow to the pea I've mixed two different colorways. Um, I have colorway 1038 in here, I think. Yeah, 1038 is my favorite Lotulopi colorway. And another colorway that I don't have here, but is very close to this. This is Marsh Um It's a very similar colorway to that, and the two of them together makes um, kind of a warm, I would say a warm grey, very light beige, if you will. Um, so if you want to substitute for yarn, um, Marshall P, I I think would be a great um, substitute, especially if you think that Plotulo P is too itchy or too scratchy. Um, Nutiden is a great choice as well if you can get your hands on it. And the last one is Wool & Twine um, newest yarn release, which is also an unspun yarn, and I'm loving <laughs> seeing different kinds or more kinds of unspun yarns around the world. They're taking over the, the knitting world, I feel. I hope. <laughs> Thank you. 
So yeah, the pattern is um, released. I will add a little discount code down below if you want to grab a copy of the pattern. And yeah, that's it for me for now. Um, back to the video. Thank you. 